Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast video by Zonta of Reaper Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a custom light fixture ceiling based family. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zonta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Revit 2017 in the recent files window. I'll click New under Families, and if we scroll down, Past the generic model, you'll see light fixture ceiling based. We'll select it and click open. You'll notice you have a ceiling object here to give you context. You have a light source object as well, which you can click light source definition to get into how does the light emit from the particular shape, uh, the shape of that emitting light, and the distribution of that light. Okay, spherical, hemispherical, spot and photometric web. So you can choose whatever you want. Let's head over to a front elevation and type in ZA. And you'll notice you have the reference level, you have the ceiling object, you have the light fixture source itself, and then a reference plane that dictates the source of that elevation. This is the context that you have to work with. This reference plane also is pinned down and define origins is checked. This one is Define origins is checked as well, and it's not pinned down, but it is hosted by the ceiling object. So for on all intents and purposes, your insertion point is right here. So let's go ahead and build a custom uh, light fixture that's ceiling based for this particular object. And I'm going to zoom in here, and I'll create a reference plane for the left side and the right side of my light fixture. And I'll create a dimension that defines the overall width. And I'll create a dimension for equality conditions. So it's placed um, properly, and the shape and the light source is centered. Um, let's go ahead and create a reference plane for the bottom of the light fixture custom generic object. We'll place a dimension from here to the ceiling to define that overall height. And then, you know, for the sake of being a little fun, I'm going to create a reference plane over here and another one over here. And I'm going to dimension the distance from that plane and the dimension from this one as well. And let's set this as a parameter, calling it um, inset width something like that. And we'll change that inset width to be 9 inches. We'll head select this dimension and make it the same. We'll select this one and parameterize it and call it uh, fixture width. And then we'll select this one and parameterize it and call it fixture uh, depth or height. Uh, let's do height. And let's go ahead and create our shape. So I'll use a create tab. I'll do extrusion. I'll use a pick line method so I can pick this edge that is being created when I select. Okay. So we'll do this, we'll do this, and this. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll pick this one as well. And then we'll use trim to corner to clean up the corners. And then draw the line that we need from here to here. And we'll lock it. And again, trim to corner, clean up this corner. Let's go ahead and create, say, something like this. And we will split and delete inner segment, this and that. So there's our shape, roughly. Uh, let's head over to a left elevation. Again, typing ZA for zoom all. Hit the green check mark to finish it. And now we need to create a reference plane 
for, if you will, the front and the back. And again, dimensioning this so that it's equal. And then dimensioning this for the depth. So we'll select that and assign it a parameter and call it fixture depth. And then we can take this object that we've created and push and pull the edges so that they are aligned and locked accordingly. And if we look at this in 3D and shade it, you can see the light fixture and you can see the object. There you go. Now, let's take this solid object and let's apply material to it. And for the sake of fun, let's turn it into glass. Oops. Let's go back to the family types window and under glass let's modify this and let's call it fixture material and then inside here make it glass so now you can kind of see that it's see-through We'll save this as a custom family, and we'll call it custom light fixture ceiling based, and hit save. Now we can take this and load it into a project. So we'll start a new project. Because this is ceiling based, it only shows up if you have a ceiling. So I'll create a ceiling in the level one floor plan view, in the level one ceiling view, and toggle back to that object and load it into the project. Head over to the ceiling plan view and head over to light fixtures and right click and say create instance. And now you can see it only shows up when it's in a ceiling. So I'll just place a couple like that. We shade it, you can see what it looks like. If we want to, we can open up visibility graphics dialog box and go to light fixtures and say show the light source. And then lastly, go to 3D view, and there you go. So that's how you create a custom light fixture that's ceiling based for use in your Revit project. Thanks for watching.